Hello and welcome back to the channel. So in the last video you saw us picking up uh, some new wheels and tires from Tegawa and a massive thank you to Tegawa as well. So today we are down at A-Line and we're going to actually fit them up and actually see what they look like completed and on the car. So follow us, let's go and find out what this is going to look like. Before we could actually fit the wheels and tyres, we needed to give the wheels a nice ceramic sealant. So this we used Guyon Q2 rim, uh, really good results and did two coats. Next up we weighed the uh, OEM wheel and tyre and also the spacer because we was running string theory spacers coming out to just over 17 kilos. I also did the same with the Motegi wheels and the Nankang NS2Rs. Now bear in mind these are slightly wider than the OEM wheels and we don't need to run a spacer. And they came out at a surprising 15 and a half kilos per corner. Back down at A-Line, you can see they always have some amazing cars, including this 1927 MG that was in to get those uh, knockoff wheels balanced. First thing that we thought it was best to do is take off the OEM wheels and just check the Motegi wheels do actually fit. Now in theory they should all line up but it's always worth just double checking before you do fit them. And front and rear they cleared perfectly. We have fixed some sprig rings and that's just to ensure the perfect fitment onto the actual hub. So we're just taking off the uh, tyre just off of one bead so that we can get the sensor out and then we can move those over into the new wheels and tyres. So as you can see, uh, the tyres are on, we're going to mount them in a minute, they do fit um, and as you can see from the Nankangs we've gone for a... And as you can see from the Nankangs they are a square tyre so this is going to give it a bit more of a chunkier stance on there as well as a, a more aggressive offset than the standard wheels. Now this is the first time we've seen them on and I have to say they look great. Ignore the arch gap and that's just because we've had the car jacked up. Once uh, the car's driven around a little bit, that'll settle back down and I have to say, it looks great.
now we're off to go and check out how they look. Let me know what you think down in the comments down below. So there we go, we're down at A-Line and we have got the wheels and tyres fitted and they look amazing, I have to say. Um, really liking the silver on white, really, really liking it. It's completely changed the outlook of the car, we've gone away from the black and the white vibe to very little black in fact. The wheels look fantastic, uh, remind me a bit of uh, Enki RPF 01s, kind of similar sort of, especially with that uh, similar sort of silver, but they look absolutely fantastic, uh, wider than the OEM and a nice thick chunky square tyre which is what I was after um, and they should be good on track. So that's it wrapped here, thank you very much to the guys down at A-Line, uh, really helped out, um, great service and this place has been absolutely busy all day long, there's so many people down here so uh, if you need any alignment wheels and tyres you know where to go. So I hope you follow along on the channel, um, we've got another video coming out soon where we're going to do something uh, interesting before Le Mans and then we're off to Le Mans, so that's gonna be a good one. So uh, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, that's perfectly fine. Give it a thumbs down, just put it in the comments how I can do it better. Until the next time, goodbye.